Welcome, namaste, and welcome again to Dr. Shah's clinic. And a big thank you to all of you. Our channel has crossed 10,000 subscribers. And in this video, we are going to discuss about the semen analysis test procedure. So, uh, you know, if you're evaluating yourself for a male fertility or a male, uh, you know, reproductive health issue, the semen analysis test or the sperm test is the gold standard procedure of choice for clinicians who are, you know, working in the field of subfertility or infertility. Now, what are the what are some quick tips that you have to bear in mind when you're doing a semen analysis test procedure? And what is the semen analysis test procedure? You know, what are the various steps? That are actually happening during this procedure. So the first thing to bear in mind is, mind is when you're going for a sperm test or a semen analysis test procedure, you need to you need to go with a sexual abstinence of about one day. And although the WHO you know, recommends a two to seven day sexual abstinence, a lot of recent studies have suggested that shorter abstinence periods gives a better estimation of the sperm motility, concentration, morphology, and other semen parameters. So one day sexual abstinence is usually recommended for the semen analysis test procedure. And next point number two, you know, when you go into, you know, a sperm test laboratory or an andrology laboratory or when you go to, you know, get a semen analysis test procedure done, you'll be given a container, basically a sterile wide mouth container like this. Your name will usually be written here along with your age and uh, the duration of abstinence and then they'll also have your patient ID that's written over here. And you'll be collecting your semen sample into a wide mouth container in a private room by the process of masturbation, right? Using your hands which are dry. So your hands have to be dry. You should not use soap well collection, you should not use any kind of lubrications, lubricant material well, you know, performing semen as test procedure. Your sample has to be collected in this wide mouth container. And this container is usually kept into a device called as the incubator. I've shown the incubator. There's an image of the incubator on the right hand side of the uh, video, just look, look on the right. And the sample is usually kept for about anywhere from about 20 to 30 minutes. Why we keep the sample in the incubator is primarily so that the sample can liquefy. And the, you know, when the semen liquefies, the sperms actually gain motility. So an estimate of sperm motility can only be done once the semen sample liquefies during a semen analysis test procedure. So then the sample liquefies, right, after 20 to 30 minutes. Once the sample is liquefied, a droplet is taken from here. It's put on, on a glass slide and, you know, under the microscope, we normally look for the, uh, you know, we, you, before that, you know, we look at the semen volume, right? We measure the semen volume. You know, sometimes the semen volume can be, some, some containers have markings, you know, like this gradations markings, gradations with markings, you can estimate the semen volume from this. Or sometimes we can, you know, uh, estimate the semen volume in a conical uh, conical glass, you know, the round tube or the bottle, or the conical tube containers with markings. So the semen volume is done. The uh, overall viscosity of the semen is estimated. The semen pH is uh, estimated. Mm -hmm. And then we look at, you know, we usually take the drop and put it. We, once the liquefaction, we know the semen sample is liquefied. We take the same drop of the semen, about 10 microliters, put it on a grass slate, put it under the microscope, and look for a sperm count. Now again, you look at the image on the right. A normal uh, sperm count for most healthy fertile men is going to average anywhere from about about 12, I mean 13 million to 16 million per ml. So in a particular microscopic field, if I'm going to see about 10 sperms, I, I'm, going to, I'm going to look at about 10 to about anywhere about 10 to 15 fields and take an average of the count readings. That's roughly 10 million per ml. So the image on the right shows you how these sperms usually look under the microscopic field. Uh, you have to look at least look at at least 10 sperms. You have to see at least 10 to 15 sperms, and then that means the sperm count is normal. But the next parameter we you know immediately estimate is usually motility. Some labs you know usually do a motility assessment, then do the concentration assessment data. But usually the order is uh, you know first you look at the semen volume, look for the liquefaction viscosity pH, then you look at the concentration, then motility. So you look at the image on the right. You know I've shown I've tried to record you know how the motile sperms you know run under the microscope, and let me zoom it for you and so as you can clearly see here motile sperms are sperms that are actually moving progressively from one field to the other field so in a semen analysis test procedure you get three motility parameters you get progressive motility that should be about 32 percent you get non-progressive motility and immotile sperms right then we also do the next part in the semen once the once we've done the motility scoring we then in the semen analysis test procedure next we look at what's called as the sperm morphology and again look at the image on the right if you see a normal appearing sperm usually has, you know, a round head over and with the acrosome cap, a mid-piece section and a tail. And I've made a separate video about sperm morphology. I've, I've linked it somewhere on the right hand side corner. So normal appearing sperms should be seen in about 3 to 4 percent, right? 3 to 4 percent of so overall sperm to zoa that you see in a man's ejaculate should be normal appearing because we believe it's the normal appearing sperm that can actually fertilize or bind to the egg. So then we look at the sperm morphology and then we give a report. Uh, of normal zoospermia if the sample is normal and it ticks all the boxes for the you know normal reference ranges and then 
If the motility is slow, it's asthenospermia. If the count is slow, it's oligospermia. There are different rates. So we will be making a lot of many more videos on these topics going forward. So, uh, so healthy normal semen assist test procedure. In the end of it, you know, actually it's a very good test, you know, to assess whether you have some problem with your male fertility potential. And it's probably the first test that, you know, we should recommend couples when they come in for an infertility evaluation. So I, I hope, you know, you can kind of found this video, you know, short, but, you know, nevertheless brief and informative. Do like, comment and subscribe and share this video with all your friends and loved ones and uh, keep watching the channel. All right. Take care. Dr. Shah signing off for now. Vanakam. Thank you.